Hey everybody, Dr. Heimlich here, and today we're going to be talking about the thyroid and why you can still have thyroid symptoms even if your labs look normal. It could even be taking medication. You know, you can still have the hair loss, the fatigue, uh, insomnia. You can still have a feeling cold, all those other different symptoms you know you have. So why can that be? Well, it can be due to something going on up in your brain. Up in your brain, you've got a hypothalamus which communicates to the pituitary, which is a gland in the brain that helps control a lot of things, but also helps control the thyroid. It sends it down something called TSH to it to let the thyroid do what it's supposed to do. Now, if it's not told what to do by the hypothalamus because you have a decreased or deficiency of a neurotransmitter like dopamine, then what happens is you can continue to take the medications and it's not gonna do a darn thing for you. You're not gonna feel better at all. The reason being is you're not taking care of the problem. You're just looking at the TSH levels themselves. And honestly, that's what most doctors look at. They look at the TSH level. Your uh, primary doctors and endocrinologists usually just look at that. Sometimes they'll uh, do a T3 and a T4, but what's gonna happen is those really aren't gonna show us what's going on with what's happening with the neurotransmitters themselves. Um, and the TSH level um, will probably be within normal limits uh, in the lab ranges, but not in the functional lab ranges. Now, functional lab ranges are a lot narrower than the traditional lab ranges, and they have a higher correlation with the function of the thyroid as opposed to just what's going on with TSH. So this can confuse a lot of doctors because your TSH is good, but yet you still have those symptoms. Okay. Um, a clue that you have this going on is if you have the hypothyroid symptoms and at the same time you also have symptoms of a decreased dopamine. What are those? Well, that could be um, angry when you're stressed, you lose focus. Um, another classic one is uh, hopelessness, um, can't concentrate. So if you're having some of those symptoms and your thyroid symptoms, they could be due to a neurotransmitter up in your brain. Now, dopamine is greatly impacted by blood sugar levels. We've talked about blood sugar levels before, and what you need to do is make sure you keep your blood sugar levels at an even pace. No spikes up or down. No hypoglycemia, um, no hyperglycemia. Okay, and you don't have to be diagnosed as a diabetic to have these blood sugar problems. So, what do you do for that? Well, don't skip meals. Um, eat good food, and I know that's there's a lot more to it, but that's a great place for you to start. So that's one of the reasons that you can have hypothyroid symptoms, still have your labs looking normal, and also even be taking medication to have it. Now, if that's the case, what you need to do is you need to go find a doctor that understands this information that we just talked about.